Now this was big news, um, which I've only heard about because people are having a total fucking shit flinging contest in the thread in regards to uh, a healthy debate about race relations in the United States. Scott Adams of Dilbert fame, uh, known f for his little fucking cartoons, also known for threatening to sue everybody who makes fun of his shitty fucking cartoons. Uh, somebody who became inexplicably internet famous during the Trump election because he was the fir like first person to publicly come out and say he thought Trump was going to win. So when Trump did win, everybody turned to him as like a messiah, a seer with some intelligent insight into the the inner workings of unpredictable phenomena in the universe. Um, and then he just kind of petered out as a boomer. And then he got a lot of flack because he had a meltdown. It was the vax because he's an old man and he's a, you know, he has like a midlife crisis. So he refuses to admit that he's old and he dates women that are way younger than him who will just divorce rape him later. Cause they don't, he's not actually marrying for love. He's just marrying for, for young box cause he's old and overcompensating for how old he is. Um, what was I going to say? Sorry, I just went off on a tangent on 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 his sex life. Oh, okay, he's having a midlife crisis. Married young box. Got divorce raped. Oh, the okay, the vaccines. Sorry. Wow, I totally I just had an old speaking of old man moment. I'm now 30 and I just have parts of my brain falling out in real time. Uh he took the vax because he's old and he's scared of dying to COVID, which is understandable if you're old and you believe that the long-term health risks because of your age are minimal compared to the immediate concern of a COVID related death, by all means take the vaccine. Uh, that is your choice. And the issue is, is that, Mr. Scott Adams decided to take the vaccine, which is a choice I respect because he is an old man and he's at elevated risk of, uh, of complications. If he contracted COVID probably more so than anything that could be a possible side effect of a vaccine at his point in, in life. Um, he decided to lash out on everybody else who, who made fun of him for taking the vaccine and say that just because, um, those people, how do I word this without getting like immediately banned by the YouTube bot? Just because those people ended up being probably more good at their decision making than him, who, as we've established, has some sort of spiritual connection to beyond the veil to predict unknowable things, such as the election of Donald Trump. Um, he, he lashed out and said something that you just guessed right or something. There's no way you could have known. Stop pretending that you knew better because of whatever whatever factors made you think that you knew better. Um, I made the most logical decision. And just because I was coincidentally wrong, fuck you. Something along those lines. And now he's really butthurt that everyone calls him a... Uh, uh, calls him a retard for that. But... And a inch, perhaps due to <laughs> perhaps due to COVID effects. <laughs> I'm afraid that if I say that I'll get put into a black bag. Um, as a possible, this has not been documented by medical science or Don Lemon from CNN. But if retardation is a possible side effect of the COVID nineteen vaccine, um, he has exhibited some retarded uh or maybe i don't know maybe he's just unhinged he realized that he's old and he's like fuck it i don't have to care anymore uh he's decided to say some things about black people because rasmussen a polling agency put out a report that he found very interesting and so we talked about it and i will now play the uh the upsetting bits of this video that he talked about uh, well rasmussen poll uh had a uh provocative little poll today. They said, uh, do you agree or disagree with the statement, uh, it's okay to be white? That was an actual question. Rasmussen asked, you know, white and black voters, 
and, and probably others. Uh, do you disagree or agree with the statement, it's okay to be white? 26% of blacks said uh, no. It's not okay to be white. 21% weren't sure. But I have to say, uh, th- this is the first political poll that ever changed my activities. I don't know that that's ever happened before. You know, normally you see a poll, and you just look at it, and you go, ah, whatever. <laughs> you know, oh, this is interesting what other people think. But as of today, I'm going to re-identify as white because I don't want to be a member of a hate group. I'd accidentally joined a hate group. So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. Right? This can't be fixed. You just have to escape. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where you know, I have a very low black population. Because unfortunately, the, you know, there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when, when he notes that the, when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. Very, I mean, I, I find it hard to disagree with that on premise, right? And he ate shit for it. He has lost his comic. Um, his main moneymaker is now uh, completely deplatformed. Nobody is willing to p- publish the Gilbert comic. Uh, after all the bullshit he said about Trump and all the backlash he received for that, uh, embracing T&D and racial segregation has resulted in uh, not only all the, the newspapers around the country, because many of them dropped Dilbert immediately, uh, but then also his publisher directly decided to stop uh, publishing Dilbert. So he's basically lost his comic. I think he said that he's going to publish them to Rumble now as like an exclusive, which I mean, good luck with that. I love seeing people on alt tech, uh, even if it's Rumble, because... You know, I I have I, Rumble is is complete shit right now in terms of like its functionality, but I mean I would love to, uh, love to see you know competitors getting propped up. Um, but you know it's like yeah, not not surprising that that's happened, but I don't think that like I don't know it's hard to gauge from little incidents like this. Is this going to have like a major impact on what people think? Uh, probably not. But it's still interesting because it is. It's like, you know, millions of dollars lost over years, right? I did look at the actual poll by Rasmussen. So this is the the guy that made this poll and published this data. Actually, in response to the Dilbert stuff, stood by his data and publish the actual information on Twitter publicly because usually it's behind a paywall. So we can look at this, and this is what's more interesting to me. It's like I I, I don't want to disagree with Scott Adams on this because I think that he's right. However, it's more interesting when you compare it to all data. If you actually see the information yourself, the question is, and I assume that this is just how they asked it on the phone. Do you agree or disagree with the statement, it's okay to be white? In total, from 1,000 American adults surveyed, 58% of people said strongly agree, 14% of people said somewhat agree, 6% of people said somewhat disagree, so 16, 6% of people said strongly disagree, and 17% of people said, I'm not sure. 
So about, what is that equal? About 33% of participants, so 330 adults uh, out of 1,000, either disagreed or would not affirm that it's okay to be white. So uh, there's an 8% discrep... Wow. So, uh, so it's seven... Oh, wait, okay. Out of men... Across all races and ages, 73% of men agreed, and 70% of women agreed. I was going to say women were way below men, but when you look at the somewhat agree versus strongly agree, women are more likely to say they somewhat agree with it uh, than men. But it's about, what is that, 73 to 70? It's basically the same. A little bit, uh, there's probably more of a liberal bias with women, but it's not. It's not like women are like way below men when you compare it that way. Many more of them are unsure as opposed to that 3% doesn't go into disagree. It's actually into unsure. They're like blindsided by this question. They don't know how to respond to it. Then when we look at race, and this is of course the issue that is um, most prominent here because of the Dilbert stuff. Uh, what is this? Mm, 70, 81, 81 percent of white people agreed with the statement it's okay to be white and 53 percent of black people agreed so it's a difference of about 30 percent but then when you look at other it's basically the same this is 58 percent as opposed to 53 so I don't know if other includes Hispanics or if white includes Hispanics because usually in the census, white and white Hispanic are the, the categorized the same. So I don't know if Hispanics and Asians are included into other. It's hard to say because they don't separate Hispanics. Um, but yeah, eighteen. The, what's really what's it, he says that it's you know. That only like you know forty two percent strongly agree that it's okay to be white. What's more surprising to me is that eighteen percent of black people and ten percent of other strongly disagreed with the statement it's okay to be white. Um, I would <laughs> I would be interested to see the results for the question. Is it okay to be black? I mean, how how different would the results be for for the same question posed in reverse? You know what I mean? What I what I imagine would be is that it would be probably over ninety percent that black people say it's okay to be black, and then I bet that the other category would be even higher, <laughs> something like that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's such an incomplete survey is what bothers me is that if you ask like more people, if you had separated out Hispanics and if you had asked the question, is it, is it OK to be black? I would love to know what the inverse of this this uh, poll is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. It is 21 percent of black people and 25 percent said they're not sure. They're not sure. Is it OK to be white? I guess because it's a weird ass question. Someone walks up to, I mean, what would you do for real? If someone walks up to you on the street, puts a microphone in your face and says, sir, do you agree or disagree? It's okay to be Asian. Like, uh, I, I, whoa, whoa, buddy. <laughs> what do you mean? I would feel completely blindsided. I, would, I might fuck up and say, uh, no, it's not. <laughs> I don't know what my reaction would be if, I, if someone came at me with that shit. <laughs> I'm not making a poll. I know what you're going to fucking say. I already know. I'm not Rasmussen. I don't have to ask. You know what's even... What's even bigger of a tell... Almost as big as being black. A little bit less. But it's almost a greater tell. Because based on the, the percentages, it says Democrat is... 60 69 percent it's okay to be white 20 percent sure it's a, a almost a greater indicator of being a democrat than being black if you how you'll answer to this question 
You know what I mean? Because there are more. There's. It's like there are so many. There are so many white people who are Democrat, but when they, when they're asked this question, they say no, or they're they're unsure rather. Uh, but mo almost, I think ninety percent of black people are Democrats, so it's very strange. I don't know what to make of that. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe I should just be based like Scott Adams, not like not really consider this and just be like, "Yep, time to time to white flight." I don't want to see any dark faces around me where I move. <laughs> any excuse, I guess. All right. I'm not making a poll. Come on. Oh, my fucking. I know what you're going to say. I will run this poll for three seconds. Is it okay to be black? I was like, you're, just, you're just dragging the stream out at this point. Come on. Put your fucking vote in. Let's go. Come on. We got shit. We got shit to talk about. I know what you, I know what you're all here for. you you voting in this poll is merely delaying the inevitable of, of what we're talking about that. I know most of you want to hear about now. <clears throat> wow. And an astonishing upset. 67% of the live viewing audience, two thirds uh loudly declare it is not okay to be black unbelievable bigotry in my in my chat hopefully you're all just voting as a joke obviously i can't i can't co-sign this i can't co-sign this thank you for watching this clip this is the cac remember to like and subscribe